this video i'm going to be showing you a demo of how you can share status updates with tour spots this particular feature is created for guys that have so many contacts that it's causing them to have problems when trying to post status and then you know whenever they try to post status it either doesn't post at all it stays there indefinitely or the phone starts to get odd lagging and choppy and all those stuff so for those set of people i have created this as a solution for them and also if you are part of a demography who is actively looking for ways to post hd content on your status then we have come to the right place so let me show you a demo of how you could send status updates with passports so now there are multiple media types you can send with passports as you would do via whatsapp normally so you have the video you have the text and then you have the uh pictures basically so i'm going to be walking you through the process on how you can share all three of these types on passport so stick with me and let's get into this so quite simply i'm going to be showing you how you can use WhatsApp to send pictures, uh, videos in HD format, and now you can also send text status updates. So first of all, you have to get into your, your WhatsApp and send a message to yourself, right? So this is this, see your name and then see the you. So you go there. So this is what mine looks like, right? And then you're going to try to send a message to yourself. So you're going to try to send the picture, the video, or this text to yourself. So inside the chat with yourself, you go and look for the picture. So I'm going to do that real quick. Now that I've got the picture I want to post to my status, you'd see that this is in HD quality. And when you press the HD button, you can set it from the normal quality to HD, which is not available if you're trying to post on your WhatsApp status. So in the caption, you would put in the, the keyword status, just like this. And then anything you put after that in a space is going to be the caption. So you can just have something like a video demo, YT video demo. Just like this so when i do this with the bot connected to your whatsapp it would automatically be listening out to any message that you send that has this particular keyword of status there so if it is a picture or a video or a text it would automatically just send out to your status and it's now use whatever comes after the status as a as the caption so you can make this as long as you want you can make put as many things as you want here it doesn't really matter but for mine i'm just going to be using this so now all you have to do after you've done this and you've set it into the prepared uh resolution that you want it is to just press the send button and when you press send it's going to send the picture straight to your status so when you press send this is this is going to be very very fast it's going to take less than a minute and then as you see in the same minute the status has been sent so if we go and check you see that this picture has been sent to our status and then we can just download the picture and then when you see this is the picture right here it has been sent to our status and the caption is yt video demo and if you if you like you can zoom the picture as much as you want you see that it's retained its original quality right without any losses this is the original quality as i sent right so that's that's for posting pictures and this this goes the same way for posting videos this is basically the same thing so i'm going to look for a video all right so it's so this is the video i chose right and as you see it's already set on hd which is 4.3 mb which is approximately the same as what the original video is and you see when this is not at hd the video is 1.7 mb but when you set it to hd you see that the quality the size has increased to 4.3 mb and the process is still basically the same put the command status right and then you have the caption so i'll just put yt video demo then two or one or whatever let's put this and all i have to do is just send this particular video to myself <laughs> oh i forgot to mention in here you'd see that it said it successfully sent status updates to 7,793 contacts and this is currently the amount of active whatsapp contacts that i have on my phone yes now so if you have more than this it would show you how many people it sent the contacts to and then if you have less than that to also show you so I just, as you see in the same minutes it's still 727 the status update has been sent so now we just go check real quick and you see that it has indeed been sent to our status right and then here it is in the same quality as as i sent from my phone so now let's not waste any more time with that let's move on to posting text status to send the text status with was but you have to first configure the text options according to these so now we have different set of fonts we are also have different set of background colors so for the fonts these fonts are literally in 
the same order as you would get if you try to send the status from your phone. So there's system, there's system text, there's Facebook's FB scripts, blah, blah, blah. And then the background colors, you have lilac, palm, mulberry, mount, blah, blah, blah. But what you need to know is that these different background colors are also the same as what you would have on WhatsApp, just that the names are a little bit so if you want to figure out what this configuration option will look like, a easy Google search will do that for you. You can see what the fonts look like. You can also see what the background colors look like. If you are using the port, you can literally just play around and find out configuration that works best for you. So to set this configuration, you have to send a message that goes like this, set status, right? And then followed by the configuration. So if you want to use the first fonts and the first color, you have to use this and then this. Right, just put one for the system and then one for the lilac. So once you do that and you send this, the test configuration is going to be updated. And then you can now send the keyword text config, which is then going to show you that this current configuration is system and the background color is lilac. So what we are going to do is that we are going to try to send a status updates using this, this particular configuration. So I'm going to send, I'm going to have the keyword as usual status and then the um the text which is going to be just like that and then i'm going to send this and then when i send this there's going to be an emoji that comes up this particular emoji from yourself and then in a couple of seconds this would show me that it has been sent so you'd see here it says the text status has been sent to seven blah 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 so we check and as you see we have the text updates in the system fonts and the background color as lilac so i'm going to change this back to my actual configuration which is going to be con metal so let me just set this real quick and then send the keyword text config so this is the second configuration see the font is system text and the background color is con metal so i'm going to try to send this again but with the updated with the updated configuration so i just sent this and in a couple of seconds, this should get sent to my status. So you'd see, so this is how the status would look like using the system text and the gun metal background color. So I'm just going to be testing out just one more to wrap up this video. So I'm going to change this, the background color to black. Normally on WhatsApp, you can't send the status, the text status with a black background, but with WhatsApp, you are able to do that. So I'm just going to show you the demo of that real quick. So I'm just going to send text config again to see what the current configuration looks like. You yeah, see it's still system text and then the background color is black. So now let me just put this and then have it as black. All right, so this is sense. And then when you check it, you'd see this is pure black, system text, and then the background color is black. You are free to customize this configuration as much as you like. And if you already have like a brand identity going on with your status updates, which was what you can continue that. So all you have to do is just use the, the particular keyword, your message, and it would get sent to your status automatically. And as you'd see, every single status update that was sent here, be it uh, pictures, be it videos, be it whatever, it takes less than 30 seconds to get sent. And that's that's the same way it's going to be regardless of how much your contact size is. If you have a thousand, if you have less than a thousand, if you have 30,000, 40,000, 100,000, it doesn't really matter. It's going to take the same amount of time. But you need to bear in mind that if it is the first time that you are sending a status with WhatsApp, it is bound to take longer because of the exchange of encryption keys and all that, which is not something you need to worry about. But the first time you are sending a status with WhatsApp, it will take some time. But subsequent updates after that would take less than 60 seconds. Optimally, it should take less than 10 to 30 seconds, but just give or take 30 seconds, you should be done with whatever you want to post. And then we are also working on tracking on how you can track the status updates. Definitely, you'd still be able to track the status updates via the people that view the status. But with WhatsApp, you're also able to get enhanced analytics to know every single person who viewed your status, know every person who received your status, so to speak. So if you have 100,000 contacts, and out of the 100,000 contacts, only 50,000 of them received your contacts, you know for a fact that the remaining 50,000 that didn't receive your contacts either don't have your contacts saved or they don't have, they're no longer active on WhatsApp and then you can easily find ways to 
eliminate them from your contact list or message them however so we was bought like hosting status was but you are able to get access to in-depth analytics which is going to be shared in later updates but for now this is basically what you get when you use what's what to send status updates don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more updates on these particular features and other features that are coming on to our and if you like to get access to this particular feature and other features that was has to offer there's going to be a link in the description where you can pick up your subscription so yeah with that said i'm going to be wrapping up this video bye